Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. It is a parent's worst nightmare, a child gone missing. Jimmy Rice. For the 13th time, parents who are living the nightmare came to the Capitol seeking hope or solace at the Missing Children's Day observance. Those of us who are parents know that our children always remain our children regardless of age. And those with missing children will never stop loving them and never stop searching for them. An and elementary Bailey school student was honored for her essay on safety. Strangers can be very tricky, like asking you to help them find a lost dog or if you want candy. Diego was chosen as the top canine for tracking down an abductor. In addition to honoring the memories of those who are missing, this is also a day to remember ordinary people, ordinary people who did their job and made a difference. The Hillsborough County school bus driver was singled out for keeping two kids safe when a stranger tried to take them. I was just doing my job, that's, that's all, you know. And when they told me that I had won this award, I'm, I just, why, I, I did my job. This was Rick Scott's first missing children's day. The soon to be grandfather choked up more than once. Your heart goes out to them because they have no, if, you know, for a lot of them, there's no finality to it. Uh, you, would, you wouldn't, any, this happened to anybody. The event is designed to make not only parents, but children more aware and to give them tips to fight back. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Masalinda reporting.